Hello everybody, uh, just wanted to put a video out uh, explaining a possible way for you to make a crossword for your students. Um, I made a template here that is set up for squares all throughout the grid. You can see me going through all the squares here. And this is all set up for you to create a crossword puzzle. Uh, what I have done is I've gone out to another site, uh, this one here, worksheets.theteacherscorner.net slash make-your-own-crossword. And I didn't go through all the little details they have, I just put in the words that I was looking for. And I just threw in a few instruments here. And as I went to the bottom, clicked on Make Crossword Puzzle, and it brought up this for me. When I went over here and switched it over to answer key, it actually set up the whole crossword for me. So what I can do from here is actually go back over to my actual puzzle, and I can start putting in the answers that I got there. So I can do just like this go back and forth here is where I'm gonna have this one and you know, just plan out the crossword just like this so I'm a first test or second first one all right you know and continue putting in all the answers you have Here is the instruction, or the uh, layout for the clues. So you can say the starting cell for that one is F3. And the clue would be, for in that case, instruments you strike. But you also have to give the direction here. So F3 going down you may have some that go down and across from there. So put the starting cell, F3 in that case, going down. And there's the clue. Do that for all your clues. All right. When you have done all of your clues and everything, you want to go up to File and make a copy. And I'm just going to leave it as that, but you rename it something that's useful for you. And this new one you copied is going to be the one that you send to the kids. So what I'm going to do is select all of these cells, and you can hold control and scroll all over all your clues like that to select them all. Change the background and reset it so it goes back to the white. Change the text back to black. and you have the answers there. All you have to do, because I still have them all selected, I haven't done anything else, just hit the delete key, and you have your crossword all set up. Clues are all there, they just have to go in and fill it in. thought this might be useful for you, because from here you can put it into Google Classroom, make a copy for each student, and they all have their own copy of the crossword that they can complete and submit back to you. Uh, feel free to contact me if you have any questions or want to kind of walk through it with me. I'm happy to do that for you. Uh, let me know how it works. Thanks.